Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing the new Shimano Metamium DC. This reel, it's an amazing reel. So let's talk about it. Can you believe that it's been nine years since Shimano came out with their last Shimano Metanium DC in, back in 2015? Nine long years, but finally they've come out with a new model now in 2024. And this model is a great, great model. So let's talk about the things that I like and a couple of things that I'm a little bit concerned about. So let's go. The first thing that I wanted to mention is its size. Now this is a 70 size reel and the last Shimano Metanium that came out uh, was a 70 size reel in the MGL model. But the last DC reel was a 100 size. And uh, so the first thing you'll notice when you compare your old model with the new model is that the new Metanium DC is definitely smaller and uh, it's super lightweight and it palms great in your hand. And so the size is probably one of the main things that you will notice about this reel. Uh, obviously the color as well, but the size is just great. I like that they've gone with the 70 size uh, instead of continuing with that 100 size reel. So first thing you notice, is its size. Second thing you notice is obviously its color design. Uh, I did an unboxing video and talked about the design, but I love the design of the new Shimano Metanium DC. Uh, it's all black and has a little bit of silver details over here on the sides, but I love it. It looks just super cool. And uh, it has a little bit of a thing of getting your fingerprints on it, but the design is just great. So I love that. I love the size and I love its new color. And the third thing I'll mention is the new MGL 3 spool. Comparing it to the Metanium 15, the MGL 3 spool is um, obviously it's a little bit smaller, but the most important thing is that its weight is less. And so what that does is you'll definitely cast further. And so the MGL spool here uh, has lost a few parts per gram and uh, I'll put up the actual number here. But uh, one thing that they've added is a cutout for your line. So I'll see if the camera can pick that up. You'll have a cutout for your line to attach to the spool. And that's a great addition, I think, to, to this reel. The fourth thing that I'll mention is that they've added the silent tune to this reel. That basically means that they put a couple of O-rings on each side of the reel. I mentioned that in the unboxing video as well. But basically what that does is that the side to side movement when you're casting and retrieving is reduced quite a bit. So that also makes sure that you can cast longer and when you're retrieving, you'll have a much more smooth retreat as well. So I like that they've added this to the new Metanium DC as well. And the fifth thing that I'll mention is actually one of my concerns about this reel. Now in the Metanium 15, uh, <clears throat> the Metanium DC 15 model, they had brass gears. And on the new Metanium DC, they've added aluminum gears. This does, uh, this makes sure that the weight is kept down, although they've changed the brake settings and uh, the brake module on this reel, but they've added aluminum gears to this reel. So we'll just have to see if this is as durable as the last casting reel. Uh, the 2015 model, it was a tank. It just kept on going, going, going. And if you've serviced, serviced it, and if you've serviced it with oil and grease, it just kept on going. Now, aluminum gears, they are not as durable as brass gears, but hopefully they will hold up and hopefully not break down too fast. And the next thing I'll mention is, well, the design of the body itself. Uh, I think that they have made this body pretty much like a copy of the Bantam. Have a look at this, the comparison between the two. 
they are very much alike so from the top on this side and then I'll show you on the side from the handle have a look at the design over here and then I'll move it around and you can have a look at this side as well so you will see that the uh, sides are pretty much the same I'll put a close-up up as well but uh, if you look at that you will see that they took a lot of design uh, language from the Bantam and to me that's a good thing I love the Bantam I love how the palms I love how it fishes and I love how this is just designed and and, and just how it palms in your hand so that's a great thing I think another thing that I'll mention is the body and uh, it's uh, one piece or not one piece uh, what's it called well they made the middle frame in one piece from aluminum so this feels a lot more solid than the 2015 model as well uh, I would say the Bantam is still better built I think uh, it's it feels more solid it feels a little bit tighter I think but the Metanium holds up really really well and is definitely comparable to the Bantam but that's one thing and uh, I like that about this new one and you'll definitely feel it when you compare it to your old Metanium DC next up is casting distance this reel casts really really great Comparing it to the Shimano Metanium 15, it casts further. Uh, in our testing, it had about 5 to 10% longer cast. I'll put up the number here. And uh, comparing it also to the 2020 model, which is a great, great model as well, it outperforms that reel as well. And uh, when you're casting, it's not by a mile by any means, but it's definitely uh, noticeable. It has about 5% longer casting distance when we measured our casts with it. So uh, casting distance is really, really great. And the last thing that I'll mention, and this is my biggest concern about this reel or the selling of this reel, and that is its price. Now, the 2024 model, it's an expensive reel. It's super expensive, it just is. And uh, if you compare it to the Shimano Metanium 2020 model and the Metanium 2015 model, uh, the, the Metanium 2015 DC model, it will definitely cast longer. It's a better reel. It is a better reel. If you want a great option, then the SLX XT DC model, that's a great option. It's got a lot of the same uh, technologies in it but it's built a little bit different so you don't have your aluminum one metal uh, piece in the middle and a few other things that's different but it's the same size casts long not as long as this but it's a great option for you so i just wanted to throw that in and probably that was my two concerns about this reel the aluminum gears and its price so just be aware of that and if you want an option, like I said, the XLX XTDC, it's a great option for you guys. And that's a great looking reel as well. And we fished that and are super, ha super happy about that reel as well. And so there you have it, guys. That's my review of the Shimano Metanium DC. Uh, it casts great. Uh, it feels great. It's super smooth. And uh, we feel like this reel is going to be the reel that other reels is going to be held up in accountable to when it comes to your casting distance, your smoothness and palmability. So again, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.